Hi everyone! How's it going? <laughs> oh gosh, I feel so obnoxious. Woo! It's Sunday, baby! Yeah! It's the weekend! Let's go! Here's the top that I finished. It is the 7 p.m. tank by Tiffnit. You should go check out that pattern. It's pretty awesome! And also, go check out the video I posted where I, um, made it. I'm not going to give you any beats about the pattern, obviously, but you know, you can come along the ride for me and see how it went for me and how easy it was. All right. So there's a glare. Hey, okay. So there we go. Okay. For today's video, we are going to be looking at some scrap yarn project ideas. And I'm really excited about these because these are all things that I will totally want to make. And most of the patterns are free and um, that I've included, but if they're not, like, there should be a free version available of, like, it's just the general project, um, that's the concept here, but I'm throwing in a pattern of my recommendation, I guess, or the one that I would make if I were going to do this project with my scrap yarn. So that's basically the whole thing with it. So yeah, let's just get started. Okay, I also broke this down into categories. So the first category is household slash cleaning. The second category is small accessories. And then the third category is small garments. I mean, they're all small, obviously. It's small amounts of yarn. It's for your scrap yarn people. Okay, let's just get into it. So the first pattern that I am recommending is for dryer balls. Um, I have two options here. So <laughs> the first pattern is one that you'll see on the screen and it's also linked down below. All of these will be linked down below, by the way. The first pattern is one that is knitted. And so you can basically put anything inside it. Obviously I'd recommend like, you know, maybe scrap fabric or scrap yarn, what have you, right? And that way you can use them as dryer balls and you just put them in the dryer and they work like dryer sheets and it's like way better for the environment. Just have to make sure you use wool yarn because you want it to felt and that'll do the whole, it'll just make it work as a dryer ball, I guess. So yeah, there's two options for this. There's the first pattern that's knitted here. And then there's another pattern that I found that is it's not really as much of a pattern as it is just a tutorial, but it's a YouTube video, so go check it out and go follow that. And she basically just like rolls it into a ball and then, um, well, you can watch the video, but she has a cool way of making sure that it gets felted in the dryer, I guess the washing machine in the dryer, so that it can be used as dryer balls. So yeah, I love this idea. I think it's super cool. I think it'd be great to um, stash bust and just get rid of some yarn that you really have like no idea and you really just don't want to use it for anything because no one's going to really see this and it's going to be really uh, beneficial and helpful to you and um, what I like to do with my dryer balls is I add a little bit of essential oil and that's also recommended in this um, video that Emily made. So the next pattern is a soap scrubby. So I didn't really know about these till um i went to the scandinavian festival down here in the midsummer obviously and that was super awesome but what i noticed is uh one of the stands they had these soap scrubbies and the person at the stand was explaining it to me basically as you use it because of the way the wool works it shrinks so the soap inside as the soap inside shrinks the soap scrubby part on the outside shrinks as well and so it just like shrinks down 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 as you use it which is like super cool so um there's a knitted version that i included here the pattern for and there's also if you have scraps of roving you can definitely use this version or you could also just wrap your yarn around it kind of similar to the dryer ball way and then just felt that or yeah, you can't really pop this one in the washing machine or dryer because it's got soap inside it. So I would just felt it normally as you would. And then you have your little soap scrubby, which is like super fun and super great for probably like showering and stuff. I don't know. It seems like a fun idea. I love it. I want more projects like this. Super cool. Okay. The next pattern that I have here is for 
dishcloths. Let's take a look. Let me see. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I don't know, like, and they used a bunch of different colors in the example one that I'm showing here. It seems like, unless it's like a self-striping yarn. But I mean, you can totally use different colors like they did too, which is super cool. It's a free pattern. So go nuts, guys, like might as well. And it doesn't take a lot of yarn. Obviously it's just a little dishcloth. So if you have any extra yarn left over, it's a, it's a great option. Love it. Okay. I couldn't really decide with this next idea what um, what version to show you or what pattern to show you, so I have a whole bunch here, so just hear me out. So the next idea is coasters, and maybe just because I'm really in need of coasters right now, but I like have a lot of patterns saved here and I'd love to share them with you guys because they're all really cute. So let's just go through them rapid fire. This first one is Water Lily. Oh my god, it's so cute. And mind you, all these coasters, like some of them are a little bit bigger, so they're also great as like to put your pots on, which is really cool. I would just keep in mind for all of these sorts of patterns that I'm showing you, by the way, like don't use acrylic yarn because that can melt if you put hot things on it, so don't do that. <laughs> Unless you're just using it for cold drinks, but yeah, I would recommend uh, natural fibers for these. Okay. This next one is so freaking cute. Citrus fruit! Oh my gosh! I just can't get over these. It's so cute. It might be really hard to make, but I don't care. It's so cute, so worth it. And yeah, it just looks awesome. I just, I really want to make this one too. But the water lily one is awesome too. But this one's great. This one's great. They're all great. They're all great. Watch, watch. You'll see. This next one is by the one and only nimble needles what a g what a legend but this is just like a really simple pattern it looks like it's stockinette in the interior and then garter stitch around the edges it seems like super easy super basic so if you want like an easier version i included this one for that okay let's move on oh my gosh this one's so pretty this one's called spiralin by mary nadener and lucy von redden Mm. But it's so pretty. I just, I can't. I don't know what the hell's going on here. It's, it's probably so hard to make. The yarn weight is thread. So if you have any really tiny yarn, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, really tiny yarn for this, I guess. Oh my god, it's so pretty though. Stop. Oh my gosh. It doesn't need. I don't even know. I'm gonna have to do some sort of lace work. That's crazy. But. Yeah, super pretty. It's almost like a doily, kind of. I think that's the vibe. And it's free! I think all these hard ones are free <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> super funny. Okay. You guys, I'm obsessed with these coasters! I put so many, I can't help myself. Oh my gosh. Okay. This one is so cute, especially because my partner, whenever he's sick, or whenever I'm sick, he always gets stroop waffles. It's like a it's like a thing I guess for him I don't know but so I found this Troopwaffle um coaster pattern oh my gosh like are you kidding me especially like with the coffee cup in it I just can't like obviously coffee and Troopwaffle was great together and they're just adorable I, mean, I guess you'd need this exact color for it to make sense but whatever it's super cute I mean you can make it not as Troopwaffle too and it'd still be cute it's fine but this is a paint pattern, but it is super adorable. I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, these are all so stupid cute. Like, this is crazy. Are you kidding me? Imagine having these in the kitchen and stuff. Okay, okay. This next one is egg or avocado. Oh my god. Stop. It's so cute. So if you have any of these colors laying around, this is such a fun option. They're so cute. Can you imagine having these little like egg ones in the kitchen and the avocado one? I just love it. I think it's so cute. It's so awesome, especially if you're like an avocado gal. There's a lot of avocado peeps out there. I know that they would love this one. This is the last coaster, I promise. So this one's cool because it's called Knit and Crochet Coaster Set by Jenny Konopinski. And I'm so sorry if I said your name not correctly, but there's two options for this one. There's one that's crochet and there's one that's knit. So if you crochet as well, then this is like a really great option and 
might be faster for you. I feel like crochet is usually faster, so that's awesome. And yeah, if you have any worsted weight, yarn, yarn laying around, this one's really pretty and it might be, it kind of has the same vibe as that other one that we looked at. Um, oh yeah, this Firelin one, but this one seems like a little bit more manageable, a little bit easier. So, and the crochet version might be easier to post. Not that, I'm not like hating on crochet, by the way. I hope it doesn't seem like, like oh, crochet is so fast and easy compared to knitting. No, it's not like that. I just, I think um, it might just be a little bit quicker. So that's super fun. Okay, so that's everything for the household and cleaning category. So let me show you Marecos for small accessories. This next one, most of you guys probably already know about it if you love YouTube and knitting on YouTube, but um, Well Love Knits made, I'll link the video so you guys can just have that, but Well Love Knits, Bethany, I think it's Bethany, sorry Bethany, love you, oh my gosh, also, if you guys follow Bethany, I'm sure most of you guys do, but um, Bethany is having her baby like in September and I'm like oh my god what if we have the same birthday that would be awesome but anyway Bethany came out with a pattern and a tutorial video on how to make these scrunchies and she shows three different ways of how to make them and there's like a couple different size options and they seem like really customizable and really fun so if you have like some scrap yarn laying around that like maybe you made a sweater with and then you're like oh like I have a tiny bit left but I want to make something else with it then this is a really good option because then you can have like a matching scrunchie to go with your with your sweater really cool really great love it love 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 okay this I actually made this one I'll show I won't hold it up because I don't have it with me right now but I will put a picture here of the one I made the headband with a twist pattern by Mirella Moments, and it's available for free, which is great. And it's actually like pretty straightforward. I remember working on this and it was really fun and easy. And it's beautiful. It's just so cute, like for winter time. I know it's summer still, but hear me out. You're gonna wanna be starting to think about planning your patterns for fall and winter. You know what I mean? Get that all ready to go. So yeah, if you make a sweater or something, you have some yarn left over. That's exactly what happened to me. I made the novice sweater by Petite Knit so pretty and then i had some yarn left over so i decided to make this because i thought it'd be great and they look so good together they're so cute so i'm glad that i have like that set pretty much it's really fun love it definitely recommend here's one that i threw in that i couldn't really find a pattern that i loved except for this one but this one seems really hard i think i always choose hard patterns but it's this eyeglass case it's number seven eyeglass case it's super beautiful like imagine you know keeping your eyeglasses in here probably clean them a little bit too when you like slide them in depending on what kind of fiber you have i don't know don't take my advice i'm not an eye, <laughs> eye doctor person so don't come after me but yeah i think it's so beautiful you can add whatever button you like to it super cute so I think it's really, really nice. It looks very complicated though. So that's like, if you really want to go hardcore, maybe this is your jam. Okay, we're on to small garments, guys. I just can't get over this and I'm planning, because I have so much yarn in this weight, I'm planning on making like at least three of these. So ridiculous. But this is the Everyday Bra by Naked Knit. Just, just enjoy it for a second. It's so beautiful and it's just, Ugh, it doesn't need like barely any yarn. It's like 75 yards max. So, I'm not, you could just make a thousand of these like with all your scrap yarn that's like lace weight. Like imagine all your mohair that you have. Maybe mohair is not the best for this, but I think it would be good. But I'll show you. I know this is supposed to be for scrap yarn, these ideas, but I saw this and I just like, I I was sad and I wanted to go to the yarn store on the... Sunday that I went and I just needed a little pick-me-up so I got a little bit of yarn and I got this. It's the Knitting for Olive Cashmere one. I don't know the exact name but it's, it's super beautiful. Um, really, really teeny tiny. And then this Ito Sensei yarn and it's like a mohair. So I got cashmere and mohair silk going on. It's super comfy. 
and this is like where I'm at so far. Oh my gosh, I just love this color. Super cool, I love it. And it's so soft, I know. I know it's supposed to be for scrap project ideas, but you know, the great thing about these projects too is if you really wanted to, you could buy like one little tiny ball of yarn and then um, it doesn't cost too much, but you still can make something like really luxurious like this one with the cashmere, right? And you don't have to break the bank on like a huge cashmere garment. So these patterns are good for that too. I just love this pattern and it's just going to be so comfy, so nice, super cute, super excited to finish that. This one is a little bit more yarn that you'd have to have left over. Mm, but I think it's doable. I think it's possible. You know how it is sometimes when you... I actually have this much yarn left over from the project. Oh, from this project, from this shirt, I, this top. I didn't realize I would need so little yarn for it. Very interesting. So, um, this one takes 200 meters. But I'll just tell you what it is. I'll just tell you what it is. It's the November Balaclava by a girl petite knit love petite knit i have to add in one of her patterns every time come on guys you know you know how it is it's just a simple beautiful gorgeous balaclava i don't know how easy it is to knit up it says average difficulty is not too bad on ravelry so that's good uh but it's just so simple and pretty and i really really want to make a balaclava oh my gosh Oh my gosh, I want a ballet club for the winter. You don't even know. I just think they're so cool. Like, what an awesome thing that we've made trendy again, you know? And it should just stay trendy forever because they're fun to make and they're super cool. Okay, so for all you knitters, I'm sorry. Those are all the knitting patterns, but I have two patterns left and they're for crochet. So if you want to delve into crochet, this is such a great way to use some leftover yarn so maybe you have some different colors and you can do some color work with these uh granny squares so here is the woodstock weekend and it's just a crochet top made with granny squares and it's a free pattern on drops design and it's so beautiful just you just make a bunch of granny squares and put them together i guess and it's just so cute granny squares are so fun and so cute and then my next recommendation kind of goes with this one. Jenna Phipps just put out a video making a granny square skirt. The video is basically the pattern, like you can just follow the video to figure out how to make this, but I love the way that looks too. So you can make just the skirt or just the top, or you can make the top and the skirt and have them matching, it's super fun. So if you have some like scrap yarns of different colors laying around that you think go well together, then this could be a really cool option. Super exciting, yay. I think the first patterns that I kind of talked to you guys about are really like you're scraping the barrel, like you have tiny little pieces left of them and you're like putting them together. And then later on, those later patterns are more like you have like a good chunk left of them and a specific weight. I don't know, okay. <laughs> I hope that you liked this video. I hope this was fun and you got some cool ideas for what to do with your scrap yarn because I know that I never struggle with using my scrap yarn. I'm, I don't know, it's my personalities of like, I have to use every single tiny little piece of something. So I always have these ideas kind of like uh, on the back burner for me, but I know a lot of people don't. So if you want to steal my ideas that I have for scrap yarn, there you go. Uh, yeah, have a good rest of your Sunday. But if you're not watching this on Sunday, it's fine. Have a good rest of your day. Have a good start to your day if it's the start of your day. Have a good time, people. And I'll see you in the next video.